Hi, welcome to Tammy's Kitchen. As you can see, we're not in the kitchen yet today, but it's a beautiful day and I wanted to showcase our little masterpieces here. My husband and son have grown a giant pumpkin, 140 pounds worth. And since fall is the uh, time to showcase the uh, beautiful bounty of nature, uh, I thought I'd start outside. We're gonna head on in and we'll start with some wonderful fall desserts featuring apples and a pumpkin tort. We've made it back to the kitchen from the great outdoors and we're ready to start our fall desserts. The first thing we're gonna start with is a pumpkin tort. And it starts with one of my favorite things, a cake mix. You know, it's just so hard to go wrong whenever it starts out really simply. So to our cake mix, we're going to add four eggs. One cup of pumpkin. a half a cup of oil, and a half a cup of milk. And our last special ingredient is a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And we're gonna beat this up just like we would a cake mix. Uh, 30 minutes on low until it's combined and then two minutes on medium. I always set the timer on my microwave because two minutes actually seems like a long time when you're using the mixer. So I never really beat it long enough if I don't set the timer. So put that on and we'll get this mixed up. Obviously, I meant 30 seconds on low, not 30 minutes. Good grief, we'd be here all day. See, two minutes was a long time using the mixer. My arm is worn out. Okay, I've got two round cake pans here that I have lined with wax paper and sprayed with cooking spray. So we're just gonna divide these evenly or somewhere close to evenly. I usually don't get that quite right, but. Okay, pop these into the oven, 350 degrees for uh, 25 minutes or so. We'll check them with a toothpick whenever we think they're getting close. Okay, our pumpkin tort is baking in the oven and we're gonna start our second recipe, which is an apple pecan cheesecake. That sounds yummy, doesn't it? I think it does. The crust is our first step, and we're going to start with a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs and two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm just gonna mix that brown sugar in a little bit. Okay, now I've got a pan here that I've lined with heavy duty foil. And the great thing about this is once your cheesecake is chilled and you're ready to cut it, all you have to do is lift it right out of the pan and you can cut some nice even squares. Okay into a 325 degree oven for about 10 minutes. 
Okay, our tort is out of the oven and I've unmolded those. They are cooling there on the back counter. And we've cooked our crust for 10 minutes, our graham crackers and butter. So now we're gonna make the filling for our cheesecake. And that is four bricks of cream cheese. Yes, folks, you heard it, four of them. So I'm gonna beat that up a little bit before I add anything else. <laughs> I'm wondering if this bowl is going to be big enough. That's a lot of cream cheese. A cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, we're going to beat this in. Now we're going to add four eggs and we need to add them one at a time. So I've turned the mixer down a little bit and we just want to beat these in pretty good before we add the next one. going to call that good. If you guys try this at home, I strongly advise using a bigger bowl. I think I'm wearing it and it's all over the floor and just made a terrible mess. Okay, we're going to pour our filling over our crust now. Okay, now we're ready for the apple topping. So I've got four cups of apples here. This is three-fourths of a cup of pecans and a half a cup of brown sugar. Now, good luck getting that mixed up in there, don't you think? Probably have the same trouble as I had with that batter in that I'll have it all over the place. Okay, there is our topping. So we're gonna sprinkle that over the top. It says to use a spoon, but I think I'm just gonna use my hand since I've already made a huge mess everywhere. I used Granny Smith apples. They hold up pretty well to baking, but if you have a favorite kind, I see no reason why you can't substitute whatever you whatever kind of apple you like. Okay, we're ready to put this in the oven. Our oven's still on 325 from when we cooked the crust. So this is gonna go in for at least an hour, maybe just a few minutes more. We'll check it after an hour. Okay, we're ready to start our next recipe. And this is a little bit different take on a kind of cheesecake, but this is called a caramel pecan cheesecake pie. We're gonna actually bake it in a pie shell. So to start out with, I have, of course, our brick of cream cheese, and we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar to that. And I'm gonna beat that up just a little bit before we add anything else. Okay, and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. And an egg. And we'll beat this up. Okay, and we're gonna pour that to our pie shell. And this is just a, just a frozen one. I was actually gonna make a homemade one, I just didn't get around to it, so I went the easy way. Now we're gonna sprinkle the top of this with our chopped pecans. Okay, now for the caramel part of this, we are going to beat 
three eggs. I stuck my finger through that one. Fortunately, I don't think I got any shell in there. Okay, three eggs and a jar of caramel ice cream topping. The recipe called for light or sugar-free or some kind of other than regular caramel topping. Well, what's the sense of that? So, needless to say, I bought the full fat variety. Again, I think I should have got a bigger bowl. I don't know what my deal is today with the bowl size, but I'm misjudging it badly. Maybe I need a smaller whisk. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to make sure that that's... All right, and now we're just gonna pour it over, over the pecans. Okay, that's bound to be delicious. Gonna put this, in fact, I think I'm gonna set it on a cookie sheet. I'm going to put it in the oven, 375 for about 30 minutes or so. Okay, we've got some goodies baking in the oven. And in the meantime, we're going to mix up the frosting to finish our pumpkin tort. So in my bowl, I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. We're heavy on the cream cheese this time. We're going to beat that. Notice I just got the big bowl out this time. I'm trying to take care of the bowl issue. Okay, cup of powdered sugar, and I have a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice that we're adding to that. And our remaining pumpkin, which is about a cup. If you recall, we put one cup in the cake mix batter, so this is just the rest of the can. To that, we're going to add 16 ounces of Cool Whip. Now you see why I've got the bigger bowl. I was afraid I couldn't get all that in a smaller one. So, Okay, 16 ounces of Cool Whip. And I'm not going to use the mixer to fold that in. I'm just going to use my spatula because you don't want to want to break down your Cool Whip. And I know what you're thinking, wow, that is really a lot of frosting. Well, this is going to be a four layer tort because I'm gonna cut those cakes in half and you know, put frosting in between each layer. So that's why there's so much. Mm. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we'll get our layers and attempt to cut those in half. Okay, we're going to cut our layer cake in half. And as you can see, I've got a really long serrated knife. And one of the tricks they show you in the cookbooks is to put toothpicks around to kind of guide you. I'm not going to do that. I don't know. They just kind of get in the way whenever I do it. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Having a really long knife is actually very useful for something like this. So I'm just going to try to eyeball it here and I'm sure it won't be exactly even but 
hopefully it will be usable. Let's put it that way. Won't be perfect, but it'll be usable. So not too bad. We'll gum on some frosting here. Okay, now I'll top it with this one. Okay, one down, one to go. We made it. Got them all on there. And that is our apple cheesecake. So let's run, check on the oven. Hmm. Looks pretty yummy. Smells good. So. I was in there about an hour and five minutes, so let that cool. Okay, we're going to add the finishing touches to our pumpkin tort. And the last couple of things are we're just going to drizzle the top of this with some caramel topping. And you can be as generous or as stingy as you want. I think the recipe just calls for a quarter of a cup. So Pretty good. And the last thing we're going to do is sprinkle a few pecans on the top. Kind of pretty, don't you think? It smells really good. Wow, that was an afternoon of baking, wasn't it? I hope you try some of these because they look really good. Our apple pecan cheesecake is out of the oven. This needs to cool four hours and then be refrigerated for four hours. Or just cool it until it's, you know, completely cooled through. Maybe not four hours, but at any rate. And it does need to be refrigerated for several hours before you try to lift it out and cut it. Our pecan cheesecake pie is out of the oven and looks really good. My crust got a little darker than I would have liked for it to. I forgot to put my uh, pie shell covers over there to shield that crust until the last few minutes. So remember to put those on if you're making this pie at home. And we finished up our, our uh, pumpkin tort here and I think it turned out pretty good. So I hope you've enjoyed these recipes and that you'll try them at home. So enjoy this lovely fall weather and stick with us at CBTV. So we'll see you next time on Tammy's Kitchen. 